Hello, in this video, we're going to take a look of some IRM servers that can help you host website or have Docker containers with various applications in them. We're going to check Hesner and the Oracle Freetire. I have two servers set up that we're going to benchmark and see exactly what uh, it has and how it's doing. So I've also written an article in here that you can check. It has a lot of the details. I've made a review in the past for Hesner and also comparison with uh, DigitalOcean and other uh, VPS provider that I will let into the description. So yeah, in this article, you have everything server that it's an uh, IRM Ubuntu one created on Hetner. It is the one with four CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. It has the 80 gigabytes of this space and it costs like uh, seven euros a month, which is a pretty good price for uh, our IRM server. So if we're going to check the pricing of Hetzner, you will see that you can buy one starting with uh, about 5 euros a month that has two virtual CPUs and 4 gigabytes of RAM. You can get one free from Oracle Free Tire with uh, four uh, CPUs and the 24 gigabyte of RAM if you are lucky. You can um, only have these servers into Germany location. If you're going to compare the price, for instance, for a four CPU with 8 gigabytes of RAM for a virtual CPU with AMD or um, Intel, you see that you pay like uh, 16 uh, euros, so it's about uh, 10 euros cheaper. So these IRM uh, CPUs are um, more energy efficient and later there are other applications that you can uh, that you can uh, host on on them. So Let's go and see the benchmark. To do the benchmark, uh, I've run the YAP script. I will let a video into the description with how you can run it and what it's doing. So you see in here, this is the Oracle one. You see that it has 20 gigabytes of RAM. And in here, you see, for instance, that uh, they are not using SSDs for their, for their hard drives. So you have uh, not that big... Uh, writing and re reading speed, the network speed is quite good. And in the CPU benchmark, you you get about uh, 1000 for a single core and uh, 3600 for uh, multiple cores. So these are pretty good uh, results for a free tire. Now, if we're gonna check the Hesner one in here, you see that uh, we have like uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. You have the same four CPUs in here. And in here, you see that you have better speeds for for this you you have like three gigabytes in read and, and write and with oracle you only had the uh, megabytes so these are better if you have some uh, applications that are using the disk other things that are better for um, for hesner is the network speed you see that uh, you have better speed when it comes to network you have like usa more than one gigabyte per second transfers also, in here, you can see that uh, the single core is about 1,000 and the multi core is 3,300. It's a little uh, lower than the Oracle one, but these are pretty good uh, speeds. So, yeah, these are the ben benchmark that you see in here that Hasner is doing better in, um, in the disks and networking area. I've also installed Cloud Panel, so um, you can host websites with these um, servers. Can Host WordPress websites, Node.js websites, or anything that you may want. You can do that with the help of Cloud Panel that it's also working on IRM. I have a couple of tutorials here that I'll let a link to a playbook into the description. So I have installed it. You have it in here. You see that we have it installed it on the, on the server and we have one, uh, one website added. We are going to check it. So in here, if you're going to check that in here, you have the same things that you'd have to non IRM server with all the things that exist in here. If we're going to check the website, again, you have all the exact same things. You can change the PHP settings and parameter in here. You have the vhost details that you can change. You have databases in here. You have the varnish cache that it's enabled and SSL to add, you have security. So all the things that you would find uh, on a cloud panel installation with non RM server, will be the same for the uh, IRM one. So um, yeah, I have this installed in here and I've installed on website. Let's go and check it. So you see in here that um, for this website, uh, I've just installed Cadence with uh, a free starter template. 
and the speeds are pretty good. You don't see any difference. You don't, I don't have a caching plugin on the website activated. So if we go to services, if we go to about page, everything is moving correctly without any, any problems. Let's go into the blog. Let's open some articles. So you see here, everything in running smoothly. You don't see any problems. So you can slash safely install the uh, WordPress your, on your IRM server. Servers. I have done also a couple of benchmarks in here. You see that um, the WordPress installation, the servers get 8.2, which is a pretty good note. Also the website speed I've tested with GD metrics. This is done from Vancouver, Canada. So it's not on the same continent as the server because it's hosted in Germany. You see in here that the results are pretty good and you can even optimize them more if you want uh, with a caching plugin. Other things that you can host on these IRM servers, you can have Docker installed and you can host various applications there. You can install plausible or uptime command, things like that. The application or the container needs to be optimized for the IRM architecture because the normal ones doesn't work. So you need the, the, the special uh, container that it's optimized for to run on IRM. So yeah, this is uh, the IRM architecture and uh, this is how it's compared with the Oracle Retire, the, the Hesner one. I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.